Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, March 18th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern time. This is Lisa Freeman from Stamping with Lisa and it is time for date night. I hope you guys are ready. We have a cute card tonight. It's a fun fold card and I see lots of you guys joining in. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me get this ad off of here. Make sure I'm not looking at the ceiling again like last time. <laughs> if you guys saw my last video, <laughs> I was facing the ceiling when we started. So <laughs> I didn't realize it till I saw the computer screen. <laughs> but today we're looking the right way. So that's a good thing. Let me scoot this down a little bit. So this is using the beautiful Fancy Flora designer paper, which I love, love, love. Oh, Annie got her shimmer spray. All right. Love, got the sparkle and a frost. I only got the, I think I just have the, I don't remember. I think I just have the frost one. Yeah, where is everybody? We only have 20 people so far. Usually we're up to like 100 by now. Let me say hello to everybody who's on here. Hey, Julie. Hey, Diana. Hey, Starla. Hey, Melanie. Hey, um, let me see. Annie. Who else is on here? Marie. Hey, Marie. Hey, Tony. Hey, Betty. Hey, Terry. Hey, Mel. I think I already said Mel. <laughs> um, stitching with Sue. Pam. Betty. Linda. All right, we got a lot of people joining now. Good. Everybody's coming on. So, hello. Welcome, 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 everybody. Faith over fear. My mantra. Yes, Linda. This is, I love this saying. Faith over fear. And it is so true right now because we have a lot of things that going on in this country to be scared of. And I have to totally just give it to God and and know that he'll take care of everything. So definitely love this saying. How's everybody doing today? We had some gorgeous weather here today. It was 65 and sunny and absolutely beautiful. And uh, I didn't plan on working in the yard, but I did. So I... I um, worked on my next class. I have a class, well, two classes coming up this week on Tuesday and Thursday. And we're doing, uh, well, I'll show you in a minute. We're doing a, a Memories and More kit. And so I had to make 10 cards. So I did half of them the other day and I had to do the other half this morning. And I finished them pretty quickly. I was really shocked because I thought it was going to take me all day. And then I did the card kits. So everybody who ordered um, the last two weeks of February... Wait a minute, not the last two weeks of February. The first two weeks of March, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little behind. So if you ordered March 1st through 15th, your card kit went in the mail today. Um, and I'm going to send you an email with the directions from Starla and uh, after the video. And um, so I went out to the mailbox to put all this in the mail. And it was so beautiful out. And I stopped because my yard is covered in weeds because, you know, we had all this warm weather and all the weeds started popping up, which I don't understand why, because I put down winterizer, weed and feed, and usually I don't have like this many weeds in my yard, but I don't know if I just got a bad batch or what, but the weeds are everywhere. So I stopped to pull a few weeds and then I got carried away and then I just went ahead and just started pulling all the weeds. I did my flower beds, I did everything because it was so nice outside. And so my fingers, you can kind of see, I still have a little dirt. I, um had gloves on but you know it even goes through the gloves and I washed my hands like a dozen times but I need to definitely um take a shower and scrub them and stuff so don't look at my fingers <laughs> I know that's a that's the sign of a hard worker in the yard <laughs> so don't look at those oh some of you guys still have really cold weather yikes um uh-oh, Sue says she's listening while cleaning up a mess from using gold foil. Man, that stuff is like if you sneeze or, or just breathe hard around it, it goes flying everywhere. I've only used it a few times, but um, it's really, really pretty, but you have to be very careful with it. Um, let's see, 24 degrees in Wisconsin. Oh, is Spice? Oh, there's Spice Girl. Hey, Spice Girl. Let's see. Hey, Beth. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Pam. You're so lucky to have your nice weather. We just had a 50 to 100 car pileup on one of our 
highways because of snow and whiteout conditions. Oh my gosh. That's awful. Um, let's see. Sunny and over 50 in Salt Lake. Doing the dishes. Cleaning up dirty hands after your nails. Yeah, I'd even tried doing dishes. I soaked my fingers in like dishwater and tried scrubbing them. But I mean, this is like two and a half hours of pulling weeds. So um, I got pretty much most of the weeds up. So now I was going to mow too, but I got too late. So I had to stop. So these are the cards we're making. Um, let me show you what we're using. So we're using the something fancy dies for the little tag right here. So that's where you get these dies. You get all these really cool dies in here. So I'm using one of these. So that's where the die comes from. And then I've also got the faith over fear right here is from Charming Sentiments. And then we're also using the Fancy Flora set. Or wait a minute, let me see. Yeah, Two-Tone Flora, sorry. I always get these mixed up because the paper is Fancy Flora. So Two-Tone Flora, that's for the inside. I've got a little flower on the inside. So we'll be using that, love this stamp set. And then we're using the paper. Let me get this paper. So here is part of it. This is only like half a pack because I've used so much of it. Um, I didn't want to open another pack, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. So you can see all these pretty colors. And these were hand painted by an artist at Stampin' Up! And then they photographed it. And that's how they get their paper. Somebody actually makes the paper the original like canvas drawing of it and then they take photos of it. So that's how Stampin' Up! gets their paper. So anyway, that's the paper. And then um, here's my card kit. So if you were watching the last video, this is the card kit that you can get this month. So you can either get um, four of these or four of these or two of each, the supplies to make them. And um, that's if your order's over $50 with the host code. You can pick which one. I'll send you an email and you can tell me if you want the starfish or the flower or um, half and half. And then you'll also get, if your order is over $100, a pack of gems. So it will be a surprise. I don't know which one I'm going to give you. I have a lot of ones that I have a feeling are going to retire. Um, the retired list comes out, what's today, the 18th? Um, let's see, the retired list comes out in 11 days, on the 29th, so then we'll know what's going to retire, so I didn't want to buy anything new right now because I'm afraid it might retire, so I'm just going to use up what I've got, so you guys will get a surprise with the gems this time, so that's the kit, and that's making, um, napkins, these are napkins, so you'll get the napkins to make four cards too. All right, so now let me show you, this is what I'm doing in my classes this week. So this is the Texture Chic uh, Memories and More Kit. So this is the note cards and envelopes. So you get 20 note cards and 20 envelopes that are already done like that. And then you get this pack of cards that are um, four by six and three by four. So you can make a ton of cards with this. And so my classes are getting half of a kit and half of a pack of this. And we're going to do 10 cards and I'm going to show them to you real quick because I'm going to do a video later. So here are the cards. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're running out of room. Seven. <laughs> Let me see. Eight, nine, and ten. So we're doing all these cards in class this week. So if you my one one class is full and one class has a couple spots left. So if you're local and you want to come to this class, you can. I have a couple spots on Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. If you want to come, it's $25. And you get everything to make all of this. Only thing you have to bring is your own adhesive. So I thought I'd just show you guys that. I'm going to do a video after. So probably maybe next Saturday. I'll do, I don't know if I can do all of them in one video. That would be an awfully long video. So maybe five in one video and five in another video. 
So that's what we're doing. All right, I've also got some cards to give away. So let me get these out. So if you have left comments in the um, comment section after the video, I picked some names from these and I've also got some, some cards to give away at the end of the video. So um, if you're on the live, I'll be giving away a couple cards to um, people that are watching the live. So this one, this is um, another card with that fancy flora paper. And I picked the winner for this the other day, Mary Newell, but she has not responded yet. So Mary, and also this one with the same paper. So you guys won the other day and you haven't claimed your card. So please send me an email. It's stampgirl2 at cox.net right here. That's my email. So you guys send me your address. Um, this one was one from Celebration, and the winner is Verna Lap 2306. So Verna, you won that one. Therese Marquez won this one, which is the same card. We had a bunch of those, because that was one that I did a whole bunch of cards. Um, Kimberly O'Brien, you win this gorgeous card. And Linda Webster, you win this card. So girls, send me your address and I'll get those cards in the mail to you. And make sure you send it to stampgirl2 at cox.net. All right, you guys ready? Enough talking. Let me read some comments real quick. I know, Pam. I wish you lived closer too. I wish all you guys lived closer. We could have a big party. Oh, Regina, you got your card. And it is so pretty. Oh, you are so welcome. Beautiful cards, beautiful cards. Oh, thank you guys. There was a video for Stampin' Up! with the artist who designed that paper. It was really neat to watch. I know, I saw that. I saw that video. Um, let's see. Doing the dishes cleans up. I tried doing the dishes, but it didn't clean my fingernail. I mean, it did. If you had seen my fingernails before I started to wash them, <laughs> they were totally like, every fingernail was black. <laughs> It was bad. Um, but I filled up, um, we have those big giant garbage cans, you know, those big brown ones. And the that garbage truck comes around and just picks it up with the thing and dumps it. I filled that up completely to the top. And it was pretty much empty when I started. So I, that's how many weeds I pulled today. All right. So this is the base of the card. It's six and three quarters by five and a half. And I score, it's Blushing Bride. I scored it at four and a quarter. And then you need a piece of white, five and a quarter by four. That's for the inside. A piece of five and a quarter by two and a quarter Calypso Coral. Five by two Fancy Flora. Um, three and a half by two and three quarters Calypso Coral. And I scored that one at two and three quarters. Um, two and a half by two and a half Designer Paper, the Fancy Flora again. And then the Something Fancy Tag. And then here's the card. So there you go. Take a screenshot of that. So you can make it if you want to. Hopefully you can fit all that in there. I was a busy girl. Yep, a lot of weeding. <laughs> but it was so fun. I mean, you know, I just miss working in the yard. And I just got started and it was like I couldn't stop until I finished. So I pretty much got all the weeds up. And um, now my yard looks a lot better. So now I just need to mow it and put down, um, you know, weed and feed for the spring. So hopefully, I was hoping to do it tomorrow, but it's supposed to be chilly tomorrow again, like 48. So I don't know if I'll get that done or not. All right, so we're going to fold that up, take all these off. This is a pretty easy card, too. It has a lot of pieces to cut, but once you cut the pieces, it's really easy. So you want to make sure you score this really, really good. And this, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I know it's bad because I have a Stampin' Up! one, but it's not sitting here on my table. So we're going to score that there. And then we're going to score this one too. Because you want these to stay really flat. That way your card will stay pretty flat. All right. So we're going to start. Let's just glue these two together. And I have a funny joke tonight. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. It's almost as funny as that other one that I told. And it's the same topic. <laughs> you 
You guys seem to like the farting joke. <laughs> so I found another one. <laughs> oh, Patricia, you got one of these too. I love these. These are like the greatest thing. I bought one for all my customers that come to class so they can have one at class. All right, this one goes on the front of this because this piece right here, the flap is gonna go underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue that one down too. I don't think it really has a right or wrong side to it. So, I mean, a, a top or a bottom. So we'll just glue that down. We don't really have too much stamping. This is a pretty like non-stamping card. We gotta stamp the um, tag and the inside and that's pretty much it. So the tag, let me do the faith over fear first. That's gonna go on with soft suede. This is an old ink pad. I still use my old ink pads though. I have all the new ones and still all the old ones. So I keep them because sometimes I need like two or three at a time of the same color. All right, so this is gonna go on my tag right in the middle. Perfect. That's all we need that one for. And then we're gonna stamp the um, the flower. It's two-step stamping. So we're gonna do the Calypso Coral first. I always like to do the dark color first. So we're just gonna stamp that right here in the bottom. And I'm doing it, on, oh, that's really dry. That came out terrible. Hold on. Let me see, we'll have to use the other side. Dang, this pad is like dry as a bone. <laughs> It wasn't like this in class. Oh, you know what? I didn't check it after class, so. Okay, that's better. I gotta ink, ink it up really good. Okay, so let's try that again. That's better. Still really light though. I gotta totally re-ink that pad. And then we're gonna do the, oh, that was Calypso Coral. This is So Saffron. So we're gonna stamp this one and sew saffron. Hopefully this one isn't dry. Now this one is easy to line up because see that little like curvy thing in the middle? You just line it up with this curvy thing right there. So you want that one on top of that one and then it should be perfect. So I'm just gonna line that up. And, oh, that came out really light. Boy, these pads like dried out during class bad. Maybe I should try to do that again. <laughs> I should have checked these after class because they are not very juicy. Try that one more time. Okay, that's better. Better, better. All right, so then I wanted to do what's left over on this piece, but it doesn't really show up too much, does it? I wanted to get some yellow on here. So that shows up just barely. But if you have a really juicy pad instead of this dry as a bone one, then it should show up better. <laughs> All right, then we're going to sponge this. So I got Calypso Coral again. So I'm just going to do the edges. This is called flecking when you just do the edges. I'm not going to re ink it because I don't think I need to. So I'm just taking the brush. We used to do this with sponges, but we don't have sponges anymore. So. So just go right on the edge and you get that really pretty soft look on there. And that's pretty much it. And then we're just gonna put it together. All right, so this is gonna go on the inside. And don't look at the bad one. I was so bad yesterday. I worked all day. And we, you know, it was St. Patrick's Day and we had a um, big potluck at work, but it was like most of the stuff people brought, I really didn't like, I don't know. Um, there was like a beef stew, which I don't really eat meat too much. And there was buffalo chicken dip. There was, um, what else? Oh, little Smokies and soda bread and um, meatballs. I did, I did eat the meatballs and the little smokies. They were good. Potato salad, macaroni salad, um, broccoli salad, and a bunch of desserts. I took those Rice Krispie treats, which came out 
awful. They were basically like this color. I, I went to the store to buy food coloring. I think I told you guys that. I might already told you this story. No. Yeah, I think I did. I don't remember. <laughs> I made those Rice Krispie treats the other night and I kept putting the food coloring in, but it was a gel and I used about almost the whole entire tube. This is not coming out now. Um, all right, this was just working a second ago. It must be almost, oh, there we go. Um, so I went to the store to buy the food coloring and they didn't have regular food coloring anymore. It was all um, gel tubes. So I used almost the whole entire tube of gel and it barely turned it like this color green like soft sea foam. And then when I put the Rice Krispies in it, it, it kind of faded even more. So they kind of just looked like gross Rice Krispies, but they tasted good. <laughs> oh no, I just realized I forgot to do this part. All right, this has got to go under here. So we're gonna have to lift this up a little bit. See, I just shouldn't be talking so much. I'll get it up a little bit. Okay, we just have to get it just a little bit to get that under there. Maybe just a teeny bit more. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we just got to put it under there like that. So I'm just going to put the glue right here. And stick it under, like right in the middle. And then hold that for a second and we'll glue the rest back down. Okay, so pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> All right, so then we're just gonna put a little bit more glue back on here to put it back down. Okay, don't you love it? You always get free bloopers with my videos. You get free videos and free bloopers. <laughs> all right, so there we go. So now it's all fixed, but oh, it's a little wrinkly. Let's see if we can flatten that out. <laughs> what, we need an iron. <laughs> like that's good and flatten that a more all right so we're gonna put this on with dimensionals so make sure you guys do that part before you glue the white down and then take these off and then I gotta make a bow all right so we're gonna do linen thread bow so I'm going to do a, just a single one. Oops. Rolling away. Let me read some comments. You're making me hungry. I know those, you know, Rice Krispie Treats are so good. Like you could eat the whole entire pan and really not be full. Like I probably had about mm, five or six yesterday. <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell you what I was going to tell you. So anyway, I had that for lunch. And then I didn't really want any of that stuff for dinner because it was sitting out like all day long. So, um, oh, I'm reading some comments. Uh, love to do edges. Oh, thank you, Carol. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to give thumbs up. Yeah, make sure you give me a thumbs up because we got 184 people watching and only 57 thumbs up. So, everybody hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, soda bread is, I didn't really taste it because, um, I'm kind of picky about bread, but somebody said it's made with baking soda and instead of something, instead of yeast or something, I think, um, I'm not really sure. I didn't try it, but it was like a big loaf, but it was crunchy on the outside. I don't really like crunchy bread. Um, yes, I was supposed to put that little piece under the white layer. <laughs> um, I wondered about the flap. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> I wondered why you hadn't done that earlier. I've done that before and had to add another piece. I know. I could have, I guess, like glued it down here, like the back flap, but um, anyway, you're supposed to do that before you do the white piece, so there you go. So I mess up all the time. You guys know if you watch my videos, I pretty much mess up something in every video, so um, you just have to wait for it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten through a whole video without doing something wrong. <laughs> but 
That's why you guys love me because I'm so real. <laughs> I don't edit it or anything. So, you know, I'm just live and I'm not doing anything to cover up my mistakes. All right, so let's trim that down and then we'll stick that on here with the glue dot. And put that right on the top. And I wish this was more twirly. I like it when it's like curly at the bottom. Let's cut that a little bit. I like it when you get like, when it's all like this. I don't know how mine got so straight. All right, and then we're gonna put some gems. So I've got the, um, what are these called? Iridescent rhinestones, I think. Is that right? Iridescent rhinestone. We're going to take a couple of these and put them on here. So we'll do one there. Oops. One over here. And one more down here. All right. So we've got a little bit of bling on there. Then we got to do some shimmer spray. Let me get my scrap paper back. And we'll shimmerize it. That's a new word, shimmerize it. Oh, love it. All right, if only you guys could see that shimmer. Oh, so pretty. All right, so there you go. That was a pretty easy card. And um, I think I did everything. <laughs> so there you go, we've got all of our cards here. All right, you guys ready for my joke? It's hysterical. All right, let me flip over to my email real quick. Um, let me see. Very pretty. My son browns the butter for cookies. Mmm, that sounds good. Will it curl if you run it through your thumb and bone folder? Uh, I don't know. Browned butter rice krispies. I've never heard rice krispie tree. I'd never heard of that. Um, I guess you could do that in the pot right before you add the marshmallows and stuff. I always put like twice as many marshmallows as you're supposed to put. Because I like mine really, really like gooey. Um, okay, hold on. Let me pull my joke up. All right. At the dinner table, a woman goes to her boyfriend's parents' house for dinner. This would be her first time meeting the family as she is very nervous. They all sit down and begin eating a fine meal. The woman is beginning to feel a little discomfort thanks to her nervousness and broccoli casserole. The gas pains are almost making her eyes water. Left with no other choice, she decides to relieve herself a bit and lets out a dainty little fart. It wasn't loud, but everybody at the table heard that poot. Before she even had a chance to be embarrassed, her boyfriend's father looked over at the dog that was snoozing at the woman's feet and said in a rather stern voice, Ginger! It's so funny because that was my dog's name. <laughs> we used to have a dog, a Sharpe, and oh my gosh, that dog had the most killer toots ever. They were silent but deadly, and you'd be sitting there like watching TV and the dog was just laying on the floor. And all of a sudden, the room would smell like rotten eggs, and you knew it was the dog. All right, so the woman thought, this is great, and a big smile came across her face. A couple minutes later, she was beginning to feel the pain again. This time, she didn't even hesitate. She just let out a much louder and longer fart rip. The father again looked at the dog and yelled, dang it, Ginger. Once again, the woman smiled and thought, yes. A few minutes later, the woman had to let another one rip. This time, she didn't even think about it. She just let it rip with a fart that rivaled a train whistle blowing. Again, the father looked at the dog with disgust and yelled, Dang it, Ginger, get away from her before she poops on you. <laughs> it's, he said something else, but I had to make it uh, G-rated. So. <laughs> so they knew the whole time that it was her. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. <laughs> All right, you guys too funny. All right, I've got some cards to give away. So let's get these out of the way. So I've got three cards to give away. Let me get my stickers. All right, let me pick a couple winners. So the first winner is, let's do this card. First winner is, let me see, Nicole Blowers. You win this one. So congratulations, Nicole. Oops, it's a pencil. It's a pen. Winner, oops, it's not writing. Is Nicole Blowers. 
So send me your address. All right, the next one we'll do is this one with the bird. And let's do, let's see. Trying to pick somebody I haven't picked recently. A lot of you guys I've picked recently. Um, let me see, Pamela Oliver. Let's do Pamela for this one. Oliver, whoops, Oliver. Spelled that wrong, Oliver. All right, so Pamela won that one, and then one more. Let's do Spice Girl. Spice Girl hasn't won a card in a long time. So Spice Girl, you, whoops, almost got my other thing. Whoops, I can't write on that. Winner is Debbie Spicer. Whoops, <laughs> I can't spell today. All right, so girls, if you won, I had all those winners at the beginning. So if you tuned in late, go back to the beginning. I gave away a bunch of cards. So that's like eight, eight or nine cards today. So I hope you liked the video. And this fun fold card, it's super easy, especially if you glue it down right and don't put the, the white part down first. So I hope you liked the joke and the video. So don't forget, thumbs up. Oh, we're up to 121 thumbs up. That's good. Um, let me see. I'm going to go back and read all these comments. Videos with bloopers <laughs> without editing. That's where it's at. Yeah, plus my giggle. You're right, Lucy. <laughs> That's what makes my videos fun is watching the mistakes. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. All those great things for me to help my channel grow bigger. And um, I'll be back. Oh, does anybody have any requests for techniques for Tuesday? I need an idea because I don't have anything ready. So if you have some ideas that you'd like to see for a technique, let me know. And I will try to do it if I can. <laughs> Joyce says, I use a good vodka and I split the vanilla bean and put it in a bottle. I don't know what, what that is. I thought it said I spit the vanilla bean and put it in the bottle. <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. Alcohol inks. I don't have any alcohol inks. Vellum. Coloring on embossing folders. I think I just did that um, pretty recently. Yeah, I did that like about two weeks ago, coloring on embossing folders. Oh, Melanie says, now I can get in the shower. Embossing paste. Mm -mm, I don't like embossing paste. Um... I'll try, you know what, I do have the alcohol markers in vanilla. I could do that. Um, fun fold the wedding cake three layer pop up. Oh, cling wrap. You mean just stamping with cling wrap? More emboss resist. All right, put your ideas on here and I will check them out and try to do one of them. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll be back Tuesday with the technique video at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you guys then. Oh, Joseph's coat. That's a good one. Maybe I'll do the Joseph's coat. Oh, that's a fun technique to do. Um, all right, you guys, take care and I'll be back Tuesday. See you soon. Bye-bye.